Welcome back, here's Van Amsen, and today we will be tackling a medium difficulty problem uh, equal row and column pairs, so let's dive. We will try to implement it in C++, so the problem is about a zero index n times n integer matrix grid, where our task is to find the number of pairs that have identical row and column, and we consider a row and a column pair uh, as equal if they can contain the same element in the same order. So here's example, 277 column is same with uh, row 277. So let's dive uh, in our implementation. So we are given uh, some uh, template, so uh, solution class with equal or uh, method, and this method will accept a two-dimensional vector of integer name grid as a parameter and our task is to output number of uh, equal row and column per. So let's implement it. So get grid size, then int grid size. So create transposed grid. So vector of vectors of int transpose grid and vector int n. So for i less than n increment and for j less than n increment transposed grid j i grid i j. So transposition done. And now initialize counter for equal row column per int count zero four int zero and plus and four int j zero j less n increment so compare it row grid with j row of transposed grid. So if grid i equals transposed grid j increment count if per is equal. So count plus plus and yeah and return total count of equal pairs. So return count and yep, there you have it. So let's check if it's working. So hopefully, yeah, it's work. So first we get a size of a grid by using the size method of grid and we store it in the integer variable n. And next, we need to create a transpose version of original grid. And this is done by interchanging the rows and the column of the grid. And we declare a new 2D vector transpose grid of size n times n. Then we loop over the grid and uh, populate transpose uh, grid such that uh, the eighth row of the grid become the eighth row of the transpose uh, grid and we then initialize a counter variable count to keep track of equal row column pairs and ne next we loop over the grid and uh, transpose grid simultaneously and the main logic here is to compare each row of grid with each row of transpose grid uh, and we use uh, yeah equal compare uh, operator uh, for comparison which checks if all elements are identical and in the same order. So if we find a match, we increment our counter by one. And finally, after going through uh, all the rows, we return the count as our answer. And this count represents the total number of equal row and column pair in the given uh, grid. So let's run this solution on the pro provided but unseen test cases to make sure our code is working as expected. So yes, it's working as expected and we beat 72% uh, 
with respect to memory and also 58% with respect to runtime. So it's really good as, and as we can see, the solution passed all the test cases. So this problem demonstrate the power of basic data structure like arrays and the importance of understanding the properties of mathematic of matrices and their uh, transposes. So uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with the latest coding uh, solutions. And as always, keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding and see you next time.